Hello YouTube. Today I'll be showing you guys how to scrap a tube television. This thing I just found on the street. Someone cut the cord so I couldn't resell this. So it's just worth for scrap value. So I've already removed the screws on the back cover. To save time. They were just some regular Phillips head screws. You want to keep these um so at the end you could just replace the cover so it's so you can recycle it at um best buy so let's begin so let's flip this upside down here all right so, you just remove the screws on the back and keep them, and then just pull off the cover. So, now you got yourself your tube here. So, before you take this thing apart, you want to discharge it. So, basically, you locate the red wire. It's a very thick, red, high-voltage wire going to a little suction cup which is right there so what you want to do is you want to find one of these screws on the that hold the tube in place attach a how should I put this attach one of your alligator clips to the ground wire the ground screw make sure it's nice and secure Sometimes they do slip, so just be aware of that. Then attach your alligator clip to a uh, insulated screwdriver. In this case, the metal doesn't extend all the way to the end. So try to um, put the alligator clip as close to the base of the screwdriver as possible. And then hold this in place. And you'll notice, you'll find that there will be two screws, uh, two little um, terminals underneath the suction cup, which is the anode. Basically charges the tube up so you can see a picture. Be sure you slide your screwdriver in between those two clips. And once you know that's done, wait a few seconds, like I just did before I touched it. I waited a few seconds and you've discharged it so now you can just go ahead and undo the uh, suction cup or just snip the wire and so now you can snip the wire on the corresponding um, flyback transformer which is this big black piece there it's hard to see in this. There we go. This big, bulky um, transformer, which is right there. So now you've discharged it. So now what you want to do is what I like to do next is remove this circuit board here. So all you gotta do is just pull straight up. Kind of have to wiggle it out, but yeah, it comes right out easily. So now just free some wires up on this board here. Let's just move that. Okay. So this little board here connected the um, tube to the um, circuit board. Sometimes this will all be one piece and this um, low grade board would be directly on top of the tube. But in this case, it isn't as in most cases. So now you can just snip off all these wires here. Just snip off every single wire that connects the um, that is attached to the circuit board. 
So this piece is your low grade. So now, what I like to do is I like to free up um, this copper yoke here. This big piece of copper. This is going to be where most of your money comes from. So now, you get your Phillips head. Because in this case, there's a Phillips head um, socket right there. So we're going to remove this screw. And this should give you a piece of aluminum on the band. Oh my gosh, okay. There we go. So we're just going to go ahead and undo that screw. Alright, I've done undone the screw. So this piece goes with your steel. Alright. So there's a piece of aluminum. So now we're just going to go in here and twist off these pieces of plastic. So you got a big piece of plastic here. Put that to the side, not on top of the cover. Anyway, you did not see that on the camera, unfortunately. But now we got another screw, which is once again a Phillips head. So on some of these um, tubes, they will be um, hex bits, so be aware of that. And note that hex and torx are two different um, sets. Hex bits are the hexagon shaped ones, and then the torx are the star shaped ones. They have six points on them. It's like a six pointed star. It's like a star of David. Not to be racist at all. I'm serious. But anyway. I didn't did those screws. There's another piece of, I believe that would be steel. Yep, it's steel. So you got another piece of aluminum. So a piece of steel for your screw, another piece of aluminum. So, now what I'd like to do on this is to free all the wires connecting the um, board the main board to the um, copper yoke. So you can go ahead and twist that. Um, rotate the tube to your um, to your preference. And so now, just to make it easier to get to this stuff. So now, all I gotta do to remove the um, once you've freed all the wires off the yoke. You just twist off the twist off. Well, this one's tight for some reason. Usually, I can get to these pretty easily. Yeah, there's some kind of. Yeah, I gotta get my gloves. We'll be right back. All right, yeah, I did it now. Looks like I had to remove some rubber feet off the base of the yoke. So now it just slides right out. And there you go. You got a big piece of copper. Put that to the side and smash it with a hammer inside a towel or a shirt. Have another video about that. So now, zooming out here. Now we're going to deal with the um, degaussing cable. Majority of the times, this degaussing cable which is this extremely thick black cable surrounding the two sometimes there's two of them but this piece is usually made of copper so all we're doing is just removing a twist tie or in this case a cable lock whatever these are Let me show you one real quick. So.
so there's a little blue band that holds the um the gaussian cable in place all we gotta do is just snip it off and look at that the entire the entire board came right out this is just horrible this camera is really terrible autofocus is horribly see if it can adjust by itself okay there we go hopefully that will stay but anyway, so this entire board came right out with the cable intact. Here we go. So all we're doing is we're just freeing off any wires that might be on there. Oh yeah, also pay attention to this silver um, looking wire on the two because that's actually copper wire it's just coated with a looks like a tin paint or some kind I don't know but it's free uh, copper wire it's not number one it's basically number two or number three but yeah we you got yourself some number two copper there yeah, and I might as well just keep my gloves on for the entire teardown. It's just easier. So, there's a piece of copper wire. And a piece of copper. Alright, you want to keep your um, tube still screwed in with the four screws because it tends to be a pain to haul around the tube itself. So what you want to do though is there's a speaker right there and you want to snip off those two wires. Positive and negative. And so now you got yourself your speaker there. There is some steel on that so I'm going to remove that one screw that keeps it together. Yeah, you probably can't see that, but there is one screw right there. Oh my gosh, okay. There we are. So now we are going to remove that screw as well. Alright, we've removed that speaker. So now pretty much that's all you want to get off this tube here. You want to keep this intact. Don't break this. It's not worth the extra stainless steel, I believe. Not that it releases toxic gases, but it's a vacuum inside. That's what some people on YouTube think is that there is a kind of toxic poisonous gas inside. There isn't. It's a very common misconception. All this is just a vacuum. That's a vacuum too. Basically, whenever you break it, the hissing sound that you hear, that's all the air rushing into the tube. Which basically means your tube is ruined. So you want to put this cover back on for now. And so now we're going to focus on the board here. So this board... There we go. This board is just covered with wire. It's not that much, but yeah, it does have some wire in there we want to snip off. So basically, you want to snip off all the wire you see. Alright. So, that's all the wire I could get off that um, low-grade board. <sighs> okay. So, snip off the end connectors. 
so you can get a higher price for wire. Also, um, check this thick black degaussing cable, which basically is easily identifiable because it looks like electrical tape pretty much is wrapped around the entire tube. And so what you want to do is you want to get your um, cutters and trim that, cut that um, wire bunch and look at the um, end, like the inside of the wire and make sure that it is not aluminum but copper but if it is aluminum just put it in with your number two insulated well with my yard they don't really mind if it's aluminum wire as long as it's number two insulated that's all they care about but if it is copper which in this case it is it's hard to tell because my camera sucks um you want to strip that if it is indeed copper and then you have yourself um number one copper so that's basically what you want to do for this piece put that to the side and then we're going to focus on the board itself here so that big um, high voltage transformer there that will go with your motors as well as that piece which has a big piece of copper around it so you want to remove that and you got yourself a couple inductors and other various um, transformers small stuff also there's a little silver like oval shaped disc there that is a oscillator which contains silver transistors and this um, box here if you open it up, you'll find lots of tiny spools of copper, as well as some integrated circuits and such. So, also, you want to remove any aluminum heat sinks. And then, um, also remove this little black box right there behind the little cement resistor and the wire connector. That piece has two pieces of silver, as well as a big spool of copper. Flipping it over here, pretty much nothing that I can see, except two um, chips there. Those two you want to remove because they may contain gold. But other than that, that's pretty much all that's inside a television. So I hope you found that useful. But before we're done, we got to um screw the back cover back on with those four screws which I don't really need to show because that's pretty easy to remove um, and screw back in those four screws so once you put those four screws back in you can go ahead and bring that to your recycling place so that's pretty much all I have to say about this television. I mean, you get some copper, you got some wire, low grade boards, and some more stuff like aluminum and things. So without further ado, that's all I have for you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.